little micro Sky Hunter. We're running uh, 1806 2300 kV motors. We've got the um, stabiliser up the back because this tends to wobble around a bit at high speeds and makes it a bit unstable. Running 5x4 props and uh, tri props. Little Turnergy Plush ESC 12 amp and uh, pretty straightforward. All I did was measure or work out where I could put it because I couldn't put it where this pod was. So I didn't want to go too far out on the wing. Well, I do wonder how you'd go if you had it right out here. But anyway, um, so these are the 3D printed uh, Bixler and I'll put a link in the description. And you can see there, they are molded. And all I do is when I put them on, I make sure that they're in line with the surface, the underside of the wing. Okay, because that's not a true surface to measure off, so the underside of the wing. And then I put a little double of hot glue on each side there, make sure I got it right. And then when you put all your hot glue in there, you can actually bend this down because that kind of melts. Okay, and I've just put a little bit of foam in underneath there to fill it and just hot glued it on. Had a little bit of a problem with the motor, uh, that motor. You just don't seem to get any air over the, the back or through it to cool the motor. So the motors burn out pretty quickly. It's supposed to only run it on probably a two cell. And we're running four cells. Uh, why wouldn't you? The Wingnetic, this is a top plane, but it is an absolute B1 2CH to take off because the nose, it's a bit like a guy I used to go to school with. Big nose, really sensitive. Every time you smash it, it's just busted. So we've decided in the motor, every time you smack, you smack the motor, bent the shaft, you know, geez, it's just every time you wreck it, it's big dollars. You've got to take all this piece off here, cut it all off. I think that's about the third or fourth nose piece I've put on there. So I've kind of gone, well, why don't we just twin engine it? So the wing netic is a twin netic. Twin netic. Twin, twin. Yeah, that's it. So again, the Bixler 2 um, pods. Just put some marks there. You can see my CG marks, but just put some marks there. Again, some little 12 amp ESC, some uh, Turnergy plushes, and uh, look, the props are a bit chopped up in that, but who cares? We're just going to fly. Problem with this is it's got these two little finger things in here, which you just can't hold. And the problem is when you try to throw it, you got no grip, so I've put this on the bottom. This is gonna, mwah, we're gonna throw that and throw the bejesus out of it. Now, this looks a bit sort of Star Wars, doesn't it? It looks like sort of R2-D2 pop. It's all to do with the weight. So in the back there, we've got, got a sinker in the back there. Hope that's not a bad omen for it, to get the weight balanced. And, uh, cause we're running a uh, 4S and all I've done is put the canopy back on there with a I've put some fiberglass tape around I've glued in one of these nose pieces a spinner off the front so you'll notice in here in the sky hunter I've put 4s a mark there so I always know in the 1000 milliamp hour battery that guy so that'll sit in there and that'll line up perfectly so we put the battery in there we do the CG check there's the marks there and there. And lo and behold, look at that. Probably, if anything, a little bit tail heavy, but I don't mind it tail heavy. I'd rather that than nose heavy. So we've got the buzzer in there. So the old lacquer band on because we've lost the you know the magnet out of there so anyway so let's see how we go
a little bit windy. So we'll just play. I've only got two batteries, one for each one. How's she trimmed? Not too bad. The 4S is more for longevity rather than speed. And you can glide this, but it's not recommended. Righto, we'll call that a success, hey? Land him into the windy. But that's the Sky Hunter. Motors are, motors are cold as, how's that, hey? Nice. And I have got the option of putting that motor into service if I want to. Only, only problem is with doing that is you get two going one way and one going the other way, so you're back to where you started from with that talky rolly thingy. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, Sky Hunter. So that is uh, done and dusted. I don't really have a lot of room to play with this guy here, especially with this big battery. So. We'll... So this has no telemetry, it's lucky to have a canopy, so we'll put all this kind of there. So I've got lights, look at the lights, okay? some killer lights on it. It's only got one of these little tiny, tiny, tiny little three sky receivers that are no telemetry, no nothing, but look at the lights, hey? These are the lights that you buy, they're about $2 a set. They're meant to go on your sort of your warbird to show you that you sort of got machine guns. So I thought that'd be pretty, pretty darn good at night flying this. So, so we've got everything we need. Right, eh? So here goes nothing. So, wing netic with the thrower thing, which I think is the biggest improvement to this. So we'll see how we go. Um, turn that off so we'll just give ourselves, and turn that off so we don't hit ourselves with the motor. Oh, whew. Right on. So we're good to go, she said. Don't laugh if this crashes wasn't my fault, so what do we want? We want up, don't we? We want a fair bit of up, don't we? Hey, was that the best launch? Bet you bet. It was almost like VTOL, wasn't it? There she comes, look at that. What's wrong with these batteries?
we'll call that another roaring success, even though that was probably the worst takeoff I've ever done. Responsive with those twin engines. This bird here wants to probably can't see it, but he's trying to attack it. Just wait till I get the friggin' 5S machine out. Buddy, hey. So we'll call that a, a success. So the only problem I've got is these crappy batteries. So we've turned that off. So I think this guy here was the biggest success. I think this putting this nose, like you know, that was a success. A success. A success. And I think the R2-D2 up the back perfectly balanced. It'd be nice if it was just a nice, cool, well, it's bloody cool. It's summer, have a look, summer, down under. And uh, it'd be just nice if there was no wind and stuff. But there, yeah, that's basically both of those with two crappy batteries. So, I think, Thinky, 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 what is going on there? 3.7, yeah, I don't know, maybe there. Uh, maybe they're just knackered, they're the batteries there. So the Wingnetic. What a beauty. I don't think you can see much inside there. Can't see much up there, but basically all the guts for these, they, they, these little lights run off a, off a little, um, handy belt, but they've got a right place. <coughs> all those lights run off little printed circuit board, there's two of them, so I've got them there. Basically that's it for the wing, the twin etic. Call that a success. A roaring success by yours truly and now we take out the big girl where that bird go hey <laughs> he's seen this and thought I better get the helicopter out of here right so this is this is the big big girl